Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to show you how to set up Tool Zero like a Pro in Mach 3, also called Work Coordinates or Work Offsets. Usually, an upper or lower corner, even though many people especially when they start CNC as hobbies usually set the Tool Zero on the top center of the stock. That is because when they finally get to make their first G-code they probably use whatever piece of wood they found around the shop and want to repeat that G-code in whatever stock they can get their hands on. When we're using a CAM software, we are asked to select the work coordinate starting point, which could be an upper or lower corner or the top or bottom center of the stock. Let me show you how we do it. And then we'll explain how to set up Mach 3 for setting the tool zeros like a pro. So you can see we did not set the tool zero. Or maybe we did but it was off camera. Let's try another job. And then again, we did not set tool zero. Let's repeat the job again and let's see what happens. Okay, so maybe they are sharing common work coordinates. Now, let's try a job using the top center of the stock.
let's restart Mod 3. Now we home the machine again. You can see the machine coordinates go back to the same position we had previously. So, the work coordinates are being shaved. Well, I'll explain it later. Let's stop this job. Let's assume that the bit broke, the World Series is about to start, aliens finally landed and they're knocking on the door. Or whatever. Let's assume we lost some steps and tool zero position is gone and we need to restart the job. We need to write the line Mach 3 was working on, in this case, 1124. And restart Mach 3. Notice that I have left all different stock and hold down clamps in the way on purpose and the machine has not crashed once into any of those. That is because we're using safe Z with machine coordinates. I'll explain that later. Also, notice that every time the job finishes it goes back to a corner or a rest position that we have selected. Or set. That is because we're using a G28. I will also explain it later in this video. Okay, so let's get back to our unfinished business. Enter the line number where the job stopped, or a couple of lines before to ensure we don't miss anything. Click, run from here. Click cycle. And then OK to move to X, Y and Z coordinates using safe Z and check on start spindle. And then click OK. And then once the spindle is running and in position, just click again, cycle start and it should start running right when we left. 
So you can see this is very convenient because not only you don't have to save your A0 all the time, but, if you lose a step or the machine shuts down or whatever, you can always get to the work position, you can even start from the beginning and it's always going to go through the same path. So it's very easy and simple. Let me show you how the magic is done. You need to have limit home sensors and the machine needs to be homed at Mach 3 startup. You also need to set up a corner angle, where your stock rests, like a scanner or a copy machine. Set Mach 3 to remember your word coordinates or G54. Go to general config and check on copy G54 from G59.253 on startup. Then go to Offsets tab, click on Save Work Offsets, scroll to the bottom of the table. Click on G59P253, click on Select, then on Close.
move the machine to your zero position we are using the bottom left corner, and click on X0, Y0, and Z0 to set as you work coordinates. And finally, when designing your cam use the bottom left corner as set in MOT3 for your work coordinates. Now as promised let me show you how to set up safe Z and G28. To set safe Z go to config, safe Z setup. Click on allow safe Z moves, select safe as in machine coordinates to avoid any conflict with work coordinates, set safe Z position and check go to safe Z wet stop button is hit. To set up G28, go to config, homing slash limits, and enter the X, Y, and Z coordinates you want the machine to go on the bottom left table with G28 home location coordinates. As a warning, do not use G28 if you do not home your machine at Mach 3 startup, or your machine will crash as it will run to a machine coordinate position without a machine coordinate being set. To test it go to MDI tab and enter G28 on the input line and hit enter. Then you can click on go to home and it will move back and forth from G28 to home. Once set up remember to include it in the bottom of your G code. Many cam software will give the option to set it up.
The easy mode screen we have been using is just a screen we made to make it easier to use, you can download it from our website, it is free, you just have to enter any email, basically because our website file manager uses an email to send a link to download the file. And that's all for today. You don't have to share or subscribe. You might even keep these tips for yourself and be the guy in the block who is his machine set like a pro. See you next time and have a great one.